Hey, if you'd like to support the production of more MOOF University video tutorials, then please visit the support MOOF section on MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So next up is the very low density lipoproteins, VLDLs. They are produced in the fed states and where they are produced is actually the liver. So this says this should make sense, think about the functions. Well, let's talk about what the function is. The function is to deliver endogenous lipids, mainly triglycerides. Okay, so that's here. So it delivers endogenous lipids, which means these are lipids that are synthesized in our bodies, okay, primarily by the liver. So this should make sense because talking about synthesizing these lipids in our bodies is going to be done in the liver. Okay. Um, why would it be produced in the fed state? Well, in order to synthesize these endogenous lipids, there must have been an excess in energy consumption. We synthesize lipids when we eat too much, right? Um, so let's, I'm specifically talking about when we have too many carbs, for instance. Uh, people say, like, if you eat too much sugar, it can store as fat. So this is kind of how that can happen. Um, this occurs in the fed state. So if you have an increase in carb intake, you will produce triglycerides. And these triglycerides that you produce, you need to transport to the storage site. VLDL is the lipoprotein that transports these endogenously synthesized triglycerides to the storage sites. Okay. Um, the apoproteins that are part of VLDL are uh, B100, B100, C2, and E. Okay. So let's take a look at what it looks like with VLDLs. Okay, so we talked about it being synthesized in the liver, right? These uh, these VLDLs. Um, so let's kind of zoom in on what's going on in the liver. The liver is going to make these VLDLs that are going to be sent out, but um, let's start with the the carb intake, right? So uh, we consume glucose. Some of it will go into our liver. And uh, to go to acetyl CoA, this acetyl CoA can give us fatty acids. Um, these can join glycerol 3 phosphates and they can join triglycerides to give us these VLDLs. Let me circle that in orange since I made these VLDL particles orange. And then it'll be sent out into the blood okay, as a nascent VLDL particle. Um, so if we zoomed in on the hepatocyte in the liver, uh, we would get this here, so hence these little lines are supposed to be zooming in lines on a, on a hepatocyte in there. So we got the smooth ER making the triglycerides, and we got the rough ER making the ApoB100. So we're going to have the triglycerides and the ApoB100 uh, come together in the Golgi, and eventually we're going to get this nascent VLDL particle with its B100, and that's going to be dumped out into the blood. So... Um, it only has that B100 now, and that's because it's going to get its C2 and E both from the HDL particle. So the HDL is left with just a, A1, and the mature VLDL particle has both the C2 and the E. So the VLDL is going to transport these triglycerides. Circle that in a different color. It's going to transport these triglycerides. Um, they can be stored in the adipose tissue, or they can be sent to the muscle in the fed state as well. Uh, I mentioned up there uh, just a moment ago that they would be stored, but they could be used for energy in the muscle. Okay. Um, so just like when chylomicrons sent triglycerides to uh, the muscle and the adipose tissue, um, the same thing happens. We can have beta oxidation occur here and then the TCA cycle followed by the electron transport chain in the muscle to give us ATP where the muscle is going to use the triglycerides for, or specifically the fatty acids that come from the triglycerides for energy. How did we get those fatty acids to begin with? Well, uh, APOC2 activated LPL, which is lipoprotein lipase, that cleaved these triglycerides into both the glycerol and the fatty acids, right? The fatty acids were taken up by the cells, taken up by the adipose tissue and the uh, muscle tissue. So like I said, in the muscle, they're used for energy. And in the adipose tissue, the fatty acids end up being stored in triglycerides. Okay. So these store the energy. Okay, and then we have um, 
when this triglyceride from the VLDL particle, this endogenous uh, triglyceride, um, is cleaved into the glycerol and fatty acid, the glycerol can head back to the liver. Okay. Um, and the fatty acids, like I said, are taken up by the, by the tissues. And then what's left over from the VLDL is its remnant, which is IDL, which we will see in the next video. So thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share the video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks and happy studying.